And a Charlotte Baker is no longer able to live in her home after a tree fell on top of it during last week's storms. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes with the damages. Also left her unable to do what she loves and to earn an income. Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger spoke with that business owner this afternoon. Sydney, you're joining us live from outside her home in Plaza Shamrock. So does she have a plan to rebuild? Yeah, Alicia and Brian, good evening. Right now, Amy Trocum's full-time job is going through her home, trying to salvage whatever she can and working with her insurance provider to see when she can start rebuilding. And for now, her business, Sugar Queen Baking, is shut down. This is uh, S'mores Brownies. Amy Trocum's brownies don't look as delicious as they normally do. They're covered in dirt and pieces of her ceiling after a tree crashed through her home during last Monday's storms. I baked all day from like 7 a.m. and around 4.30 I thought, I need to get out of here, um, So, but I have so much work today, so I flipped a coin. So the coin said go to the gym, <laughs> and I'm so glad it did. Amy, otherwise known as the Sugar Queen, runs a wholesale bakery out of her home kitchen. She sells her baked goods to businesses around the Charlotte area, like Common Market, Rhino Market, and Suffolk Punch Brewing. But now she's left without a place to live or make her living some some days after many years you don't think you want to do it but then you get in the kitchen and there's like the flow and the hum and the smells and you're at home and you're just joy and that joy is that joy is I don't know gone at least for now instead of baking in her kitchen she's now salvaging absolutely anything she can working with insurance a full-time job in itself and I am gung-ho about figuring out a second job but right now it's most all of the hours of my day spent who do I need to call what do I need to do you have to inventory every item in your house down to how many rolls of toilet paper so it's it's work her business on hold for the foreseeable future with questions still remaining regarding the future of Sugar Queen Baking. I've been selling for years and years and years at these markets, but I can be replaced. It's been a big comfort and something I've built to, that's big to lose. Yeah, so right now Amy has thought about renting space in a test kitchen, but unfortunately since she still has to pay her mortgage and with a possible home rebuild on the horizon, she just can't afford it. If you want to help Amy out while she's looking to rebuild her life, we have information on our website, qcnews.com. I'm live in Plaza Shamrock, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.